Hello, my name is Constance Hessman. Welcome to my art channel here on YouTube. So how many of you are cloud lovers? I love clouds. Cloud watching is one of my favorite things to do when I'm a passenger in a car. I look at them, I study them, and I learn so much. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of a special technique of how to create beautiful clouds in watercolor. This is by far the easiest way and also one of my favorite techniques to create watercolor clouds. Now, if you would like a slowed down version of this lesson, be sure to go to my website, www. ConstanceHessman.com, but I will be showing you this lesson right now in a more speeded up version. So let's begin watching the tutorial. To get a really nice smooth blended paint on a watercolor, we really need to wet the paper. We have just a few basic techniques in watercolor, and I can show you those. They're actually very basic, very simple. People usually make watercolor far more complicated than it has to be. But this is how we blend paint, is by putting wet into wet basically wet paint and a canvas that is already wetted down with water. And here I'm just putting some different colors of the different shades of blue. There's three shades of blue in the palette that I use. I'm adding a little bit of red, which kind of makes a purpley color. Now we're going to begin taking the clouds out. Now my secret to making clouds is really using different pressure. At the top I want to make it very, very hard. I want to press hard. And then as I go along down the cloud, I make it lighter. I don't press as hard. Then I go around the edges and dab them a little bit. And you can try this on a trial piece of paper if you'd like before you begin. Or you can just dive right in and go along with me on my tutorial. And again, I do have a slower down version on my website. But as you can see, I'm making some lighter, some darker. So at points, the light is stronger because I pressed harder. In other parts, the color shows through because I didn't press as hard. But isn't this beautiful? Quick, oh my goodness, look, it's almost done. I'll go ahead and add a few clouds and notice some smaller ones in the background. And notice how the larger clouds are closest to you and the smaller clouds are further away from you. And I'm sure if you look at clouds, you can notice that also as you're again cloud watching. Now if you would like to watch this on my website at a slowed down version, the best part about this lesson on my website is that it's free. Yes, free. So be sure to go to www.constancehessman and I'll also put a link in the description below where you can go directly to sign up for this free class. So if you do sign up I'll tell you my secret about making successful clouds in minutes, along with future tips and tricks about watercolor and other art forms. I'll tell you which paper towels that I used in this lesson, which are the best, which brushes I used, and which paints and paper that I used. I even have a downloadable document of a supply list for you, and I also have a finished painting that you can print out and view while you are painting along with me. And again, it's all free. You will not be disappointed. 